Hospital readmissions represents a multifaceted issue that still needs to be better understood. Recent studies show that in 70 to 90 percent of readmissions, the primary diagnosis is different from the acute diagnosis of the previous hospitalization. On the other hand, higher comorbidity burden has been shown to be associated with an increased risk of readmission. The role of comorbidities in causing readmissions is complex and a better understanding of how comorbidities impact on the causes of readmission may lead to more targeted and successful interventions as these strategies may differ by condition. It is also valuable to focus on readmissions that are potentially avoidable and therefore more actionable. Therefore, the aim of our study was to identify the primary diagnosis of 30-day potentially avoidable readmissions in medical patients according to the most common comorbidities. In a retrospective court study of 10,000 medical patient discharges over a period of one year from the Brigham and Women Hospital in Boston, Massachusetts, we identified the 30-day readmissions. We further identified the readmissions that were potentially avoidable using a validated algorithm called Esculap. Basically, this algorithm excludes planned readmission for the child's chemotherapy, follow-up readmissions, readmissions for a completely new disease that was not known at the time of previous hospitalization. Interestingly, almost all of the top five diagnoses of potentially avoidable readmissions for each comorbidity were possible direct or indirect complications of that comorbidity. For example, Patients discharged with a comorbidity of neoplasm were most frequently readmitted for care of their neoplasm or possibly related complications like infection, metabolic disorder, gastrointestinal disorder, or renal failure. Similar relationships were seen between readmission diagnosis of and comorbidities for patients with diabetes, cardiac comorbidities, COPD, and chronic kidney disease. For patients with one of the studied comorbidities, Overall, the two most common readmission diagnoses were heart failure, here in blue, and infection, in red, accounting together from 21 to 34 percent of all potentially avoidable readmissions. Heart failure was the most frequent cause of potentially avoidable readmissions for patients with a comorbidity of heart failure, diabetes, ischemic heart disease, atrial fibrillation, or chronic kidney disease. In a multivariable logistic regression, we found that patients with neoplasm, heart failure, and chronic kidney disease had a significantly higher risk of potentially avoidable readmission than those without those comorbidities. And when readmitted, patients with chronic kidney disease had a 20% higher risk of having the readmission be potentially avoidable. In conclusion, by providing a description of primary diagnoses and patterns of readmissions for patients with common comorbidities, our study supports the need for post-discharge care to focus attention not just on the primary diagnosis of the original hospitalization, but also on the underlying comorbidities, especially heart failure, neoplasm, and kidney disease that may cause new acute complications that lead to readmission.